Many people remember Dr. Martin Luther King for his famous I Have a Dream speech, but it's only the African Americans who were over 50 who would remember colored only water fountains, segregated schools, and riding in the back of the bus. Many kids today of all races, though, seem oblivious to Dr. King's difficult struggle for equality. It's hard for them to understand. Nine on your side's Natasha Williams is live downtown with more. Natasha? Okay, well, we're live here at the Covington. Uh, actually Carnegie Arts Center and we're holding they're holding a special program here tonight earlier today we did talk with some children in Cincinnati about what they know about Dr. King we asked them if they understood the struggle that he fought for and eventually gave his life for and many told us no as they marched in downtown Cincinnati with their parents many children carried signs and sung honoring slain civil rights leader Dr. Martin Luther King on this, the national holiday honoring his birth. He helped uh, change the way other people look at us by standing up for um, uh, African Americans. 16 year old Jonathan Mason is biracial and Jewish. He marched today with his mom, who is white, and a friend. He admits he still has a great deal to learn about Dr. King and other civil rights leaders who fought peacefully for freedom and equality for everyone. I think you need to know more about this? Yes, I do. Do you think other people that are of your age probably do too? Yeah. Parents say despite what they know and what their parents have taught them, it's still difficult to teach their children, especially younger ones, about what life was like before MLK. I don't want to put up a bridge in between her and her classmates because, you know, at six, all she understands is that she's supposed to be there mm -hmm. and so is everyone else. But for some older children who are learning about Dr. King and his works, they say they are on track. They know today is more than just a break from school. Some people think it's a day off just because it's Martin Luther King Day, but it's really how he fought for freedom, how multiple other people fought for freedom. And for this 10-year-old, she knows what she and others enjoy today likely wouldn't be possible if not for Dr. King. I I think that we would that there would still be segregation, and that we still wouldn't that we haven't like we wouldn't be going to school with like other white kids, and that we wouldn't be able to um, come together and be friends. Now, experts say the best way to explain what happened with Dr. King, the many struggles and fights he went through for equality, is with honest, frank answers. They say answer their questions with frank answers. Answer those tough questions and let them know exactly what happened, explaining to them that they were very different times during that time. And now we continue to have improved race relations as we continue to fight the struggle. Yeah. Reporting live in Covington, Natasha Williams, 9 on your side.